How about a bass line that defines a great song? A song that just couldn't exist without that bass line. Look no further than Lovely Day by the late great Bill Withers recorded on his 1977 album, Menagerie. This whole song is driven by a very prominent bass line, but also by a chord progression I'm sure you've heard before and a very important rhythm that the bass is playing throughout. It's mostly a one note bass line with fills that's following through the chord changes of the song. And those chord changes are doing a kind of a cycle that we would call a turnaround. The turnaround is one of the oldest progressions in all of popular music, and it's been in jazz like forever. Maybe you can pick it out here. The turnaround in Lovely Day keeps bringing us back to E major. Now, that rhythm I mentioned before is what really locks in the groove. Listen to what the bass sounds like with just the bass drum. That's what's literally making us feel this groove. Now, if this rhythm sounds familiar to you, you've probably heard it before. It pops up in a lot of other songs. Herbie Hancock has used it. Herb Albert had a big hit with it. As a matter of fact, so did The Weeknd. This rhythm has been used pretty frequently, so listen for it in your music. And if you play bass, know what this rhythm looks like and know how to play it, because at some point, you're probably gonna have to. Last but not least, let's acknowledge the bassist on this track, the late, great Jerry Knight. Bassist, singer, producer, songwriter. Okay, are you ready for this? His bass playing credits include Aretha Franklin, The Four Tops, Olita Adams, Michelle Columbier, and others. He recorded three solo albums as a vocalist. He wrote songs for Shalimar, Natalie Cole, Jeff Lorber, and Rare Earth, among others. His production credits include The Jets, DeBarge, and The Whispers, among others. But chances are you've heard him sing with a couple of groups. He sang lead on the 1978 hit Jack and Jill by the group Radio. And he was the Jerry in the duo Ollie and Jerry that sang the hit song Ain't No Stoppin' Us from the 1984 movie Breakin'. Yeah, that guy played bass on this song. Pretty cool. <laughs>